Good afternoon. Uh, this video is a continuation of the series we recently started on uh, specific uh, Russian pyramid research uh, on health and the environment. Today we're going to be talking about the improved immune function available to uh, animals who are exposed uh, directly or indirectly to uh, the energetic frequencies produced by a pyramid. Now in our previous video on thyroid function, we noticed that there was uh, an improved immune function uh, in mice that was due to the regulation of the thyroid gland and that that um, specific item seemed to have uh, and does have in general the ability to improve immune function. But today I want to focus specifically on the immune system and there are two studies that are on the website that come from the Russian research that um, uh, validate the significant improvement in immune function that's available through exposure to a Russian PVC pyramid. So if you look now on the, uh, the page that I've just put up, uh, it's the first of two studies, and I've titled it Russian Geometry Pyramid Promotes Heightened Immunity. And to go through the methodology, um, mice were kept in a pyramid in various numbers and for various periods of time. And after several days, the mice were infected with four increasing doses of Salmonella typhimurium which is a type of virus which results in uh, symptoms very similar to typhoid fever in humans, but they occur in mice. Uh, the control group was supplied with uh, mice from the very same strain, and they were contaminated with the same dulse, uh, doses of the uh, Salmonella culture, but without exposure to the pyramid field. So now for the results. Uh, the survival rate of the mice who received exposure to the pyramid field were considerably uh, higher than those in the control group. At the smaller levels of contamination, 60% uh, of the mice exposed to the pyramid survived, whereas only 7% survived in the control group. Now, I'd like to see any vaccination program <laughs> That, uh, of, of a disease of this type that has that kind of an impact. Uh, I know that our uh, uh, highly t touted uh, flu vaccines uh, have an effectiveness usually somewhere around 15 to 25 percent. But just exposure to the pyramid uh, in lower levels of um, the contamination dosage resulted in 60% survival versus 7% in the control group. Now, larger doses of contamination, uh, survival rates for both groups dropped, as would be expected, but with still 30% of the mice exposed to the pyramid versus just 3% of those in the control group. In other words, 10 times as many mice who were exposed to the pyramid energies were able to survive uh, the administration of the Salmonella typhimurium virus at the higher levels of uh, ingestion. So the conclusion that was reached by the Russian scientists was that exposure of mice to the pyramid field promotes the heightening of their resistance to consequent contamination of Salmonella virus. And therefore, they said it's possible to speak about a very powerful immuno- enhancing influence of the pyramid. Now let's go on to the next one. Uh, this one's entitled a pyramid antiviral effect. Uh, gives us a little bit of an idea as to how maybe this uh, plays out inside the body. Uh, the methodology here was the antiviral activity of the drug venoglobulin was determined by its capacity to protect mice cells from the cytopathic or cell-destroying impact of the encephalomyocarditis virus, or EMC virus. A venoglobulin was diluted in distilled water up to the concentration of 50 milligrams per liter. The drug was tested in two concentrations, 50 and 0.5 micrograms per milliliter. 
Then a portion of the solutions were housed in the pyramid and venoglobulin was deposited into cell-like cultures 24 hours prior to their contamination with the EMC virus. The conclusions of this study were that it was found that uh, venoglobulin in, in the concentration of 50 micrograms per milliliter lowered the breeding capacity of the virus by approximately 300%. And the antiviral effect was still maintained at further dilution up to concentrations of 0.005 and 0.0005 micrograms per milliliter with consequent exposures in the pyramid. So basically, this is not only is it proving how significant even uh, these heavily diluted, in fact, one could, could argue, this is certainly a great argument for homeopathy, but I think this result could also indicate that uh, it's not really even the homeopathic uh, aspects of the venal globulin that are doing uh, the work here, but it's the energy of the pyramid itself. But no matter whether uh, it's uh, just the energy of the pyramid or if it's an energy enhancing effect of the uh, uh, pyramid energies on the uh, venoglobulin, uh, we're still finding dramatically improved uh, antiviral effects through exposure to the pyramid. So here are two examples, coupled with the one from yesterday, uh, do deserve all of our serious uh, consideration. There's no, no known harm to exposure to pyramids, but we do know that there's severe harm to uh, exposure and administration of vaccines, uh, despite what we may be told. Uh, so it's worth considering before you go, perhaps, uh, and again, I'm not a doctor, so I'm not going to give you medical advice, but you may want to read the literature and decide. Uh, I, for one, uh, haven't had a flu shot in 30 years, uh, but and have never had the flu, but I do on occasion, or did, before I put the pyramid into my bedroom, uh, get some colds and sniffles from time to time. But I have to tell you that ever since I put the pyramid in my bedroom uh, over 18 months ago, I went through the entire winter season last year and all this year uh, without a sniffle and without a, a, a even a hint of illness uh, for the last 18 months. So anecdotal, but it certainly seems as though my immune system has perked up quite a bit since I put that pyramid in my bedroom. Hope this has been helpful. Have a great day.